and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install roughly enough items in Minecraft 1.13.2. Now one thing I will say here is that this is exactly like too many items. What we used to love back in the day, back in 1.8 Minecraft, this is the same thing for 1.13.2. It's a little similar to not enough items, but I'm holding off on doing a tutorial on not enough items until it's updated to 1.13. So here we are today with roughly enough items, aka too many items. So let's go ahead and just jump on into it. But wait, we get a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just a few dollars per month. We love Apex so much that we actually use them to host our own network Minecraft server, play.breakdowncraft.com which you can check out in the description down below. Again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's just go ahead and jump right on into this. First and foremost, we need to download roughly enough items, which you can go to the second link in the description down below, and it will take you here. You then want to come over here and click on the File tab right here on roughly enough items, and then you'll be able to see that we have a bunch of different versions here. We want to make sure that we are downloading Rift 1.13.2. See where it says Rift 1.13.2? Come over and click this download button here. Again, make sure it says Rift 1.13.2 and then click the download button. If you don't, this will not work correctly. Now we do need to keep this file here. It's been downloaded by over 800 people. This mod has been downloaded by over 3,000 people, by the way, but he updates it so frequently that uh, versions and things like that don't get downloaded a lot before the next one comes out, which is a good thing. So we've downloaded this in the bottom left and now we need to download Rift. Rift is the 1.13 mod loader that basically makes all of this work. Forge is an updated to 1.13 stably yet while Rift is, so we're going to be using Rift. You can check out Rift at the third link down below and it will take you here. This is the uh, Rift mod loader GitHub where we can scroll down to where we see using the Minecraft launcher. The current version can be downloaded here. See this blue here link? See that? See the little blue here link? Click on that and it will download Rift in the bottom left. We will need to keep this file. I promise it is 100 percent safe. Once you've downloaded that, we can minimize our browser here, and we will see on our desktop that we have roughly enough items and Rift. We're actually going to be starting off with Rift here, but you might not have these on your desktop, and if these don't are on your desktop, what do you do? Well, click on the uh, Windows button in the top left, or probably in the bottom left of your screen, see that little Windows icon? Click on that and then type in Downloads, exactly like this. You have a Downloads folder here. Go ahead and drag these from your Downloads folder to your desktop just for ease of use. Once you've got both around Roughly enough items and Rift on your desktop, we're going to be starting off with Rift. You should be able to right click on Rift and then go to Open With, and then Java TM Platform SC Binary should be an option. If it's not, what do you do? Well, don't freak out, we have a solution. In the description down below, there are two links. Well, there are a lot of links, but there are two specific links that if you can't open with Java, you need to do. First and foremost, you need to install the Java JDK. Now, you might be like, what? I already have Java installed. No, you don't. You don't have this Java installed, which is the Java SE Development Kit. As you can can see here. This is what's needed to run Minecraft mods like Rift, like Optifine, all that stuff. You need the Java SDK here. So this tutorial shows you how to get it, shows you how to get the correct version for your computer and all sorts of stuff like that. And then we also might need to run the jar fix. If you download Java here, still not working, you need to run the jar fix, which you can actually check out in the description down below as well. And this is going to basically fix all the jar files on your computer and make them work with Java. So that's going to go over all that. And it's a very simple process basically just download this program and you're done. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and once you've done that, you should be able to right click on Rift, go to open with, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary and click OK. Then you'll get this handy install message. Rift for Minecraft 1.13.2 is successfully installed. If you don't get that message and you've opened it with Java, you need to go run Minecraft 1.13.2 with no mods installed, no Optifine, no anything, just 1.13.2 vanilla. Come back, redo this process, right click open with Java, and it will work. But we are correct, we are done here, so we can go ahead and click OK. Now we need to install the Roughly Enough Items mod. Doing this is also very, very easy. Let's click on that Windows button. It's in again the top left for me. It's probably in the bottom left for you. Click on that Windows button there and type in Run, R-U-N, and then you should have the Run Desktop app here. Click on that, and then in the Run Desktop app, we want to do percent app data percent percent app data percent exactly like that percent sign app data percent exactly what I have on my screen right there percent app data percent type that in and hit enter then it will open up this where you'll have a dot minecraft folder and in here you should have a mod folder but Nick I don't have a mod folder what do I do well calm down it's okay just right click down here create a new folder and then title that new folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that 
And uh, if it isn't exactly like this, it won't work, by the way. But make sure it's all lowercase, exactly like that. And then open up your newly created mods folder. Then take roughly enough items and drag it down into your mods folder. And now all we need to do is open up the Minecraft launcher, select the correct profile, and then we'll be done. It really is that simple. So once we're in the Minecraft launcher here, the profile we want to select is at the uh, little green arrow. If we click that little green arrow, we will have a rift here. See that? And click on that and then click play. If you don't have rift, no worries. You can go ahead and hit the three lines up here. Click on launch options and then you want to add a new profile. And I'm going to call this play.breakdowncraft.com. Why would I call it that? Oh yeah, because it's the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Our 1.13.2 survival server. Grief protected. Absolutely incredible. And on top of that, we have an incredible Skyblock server running a custom setup built by us. It's absolutely incredible. Come check it out. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I was going to change the resolution here to 1920 by 1080. But we need to come here next to version, right? Click on this latest version. See that? Latest release. We want to change that to release 1.13.2 rift click on that click save and then we can go back to the news tab where we can click the little green arrow here and then select play.breakdowncraft.com which as you can see is the 1.13.2 rift version click on that and click play it'll now launch up minecraft 1.13.2 with roughly enough items such uh, too many items already installed now i'm going to jump on the best minecraft server in the multiverse play.breakdowncraft.com to show you that this in fact is working here we are play.breakdowncraft.com we can see we are in 1.13.2 up there and we will log on in and be able to you know open up our inventory and see roughly enough items working so here we are in the game cool little base that we're at here if we hit e we can see that roughly enough items is in fact installed and uh we can we can do stuff let's say we have i don't know so we want to make some dye with all this cactus that we have we can come through here and we can come over here for example and search up dye real quick or cactus greens what i was thinking but we can search up dye and then we can make some green dye from it where's our green dye at come on now it's actually cactus green, isn't it? We can select that, and then we can see how to make it, what the crafting recipe is, all of that stuff. And then if we come to a furnace, which I don't know where one is, to be honest. So I'm going to have to go to my my, like, my my home real quick. There we go, and now we can, we can go ahead and click on cactus green here. Click the plus button, and look at that. It's automatically crafting our, uh, crafting our, our cactus green there. Pretty simple stuff, guys. Pretty simple stuff. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, come play with us here on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Even our spawn is absolutely incredible. Look at that. But nonetheless, can't wait to see you on play.breakdowncraft.com. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.